Welcome to part 2 of our experiment. For this setup, we will instead be using 5 temperature sensors in place of the candle waxes to the far end of the rods. This time around, the lead rod's temperature will not be measured. Instead, the temperature sensor will be placed into the hot water. These six sensors are then connected to a data logger software to monitor the temperature of the rods over time. Mr. Tan, can you now kindly please start to pour hot water into the pot? Sure. As we can see from the graph, the sharp increase in temperature is due to the introduction of hot water into the pot. Another observation is that the temperature of the iron rod is higher compared to the glass rod. Looking at the next graph, copper reaches the highest temperature in a shorter time compared to aluminum and brass. Now, overall, we can deduce that copper is the best conductor of heat followed by aluminium, brass, iron, and finally, glass. With deeper understanding at a higher level, we may explain this observation with the concept of thermal coefficient. For those who are interested, you may go and find out more about this. All the best and good luck!